this is a quick video this week because tomorrow I'm flying to DC for this year's MACNA event. MACNA is the Marine Aquarium Conference of North America, and this is the 14th one I've attended in a row since 2002. And I'm pretty excited about it, but of course there's things I have to do with my tank before I can leave town. And one of the things that I've been wanting to do was to refill my saltwater reservoir with saltwater in case something comes up while I'm out of town for four or five days to make sure that my reef is taken care of by my tank sitter. So I was trying to come up with a plan of how to mix my salt and not lose track. Now my big container holds 250 gallons of water. And once I add the salt, it's even more because the salt displaces some water even as it dissolves. And it takes 11 of these buckets to fill it up with the right amount of salt because I have very little space. I would fill this up and I'd walk up a ladder and pour it in and I'd walk down the ladder and I'd fill it up again and I'd go back up the ladder, back and forth, back and forth, 11 times. Uh, and this time I thought, well, how am I supposed to keep track of that? Because invariably you start wondering, did I get the right amount or not? So what I did was I got myself a bunch of quarters and I set them on top of the ladder and I had my stack of quarters there. And then I went up to the top, I poured the salt in and then when I came down the ladder, I took one quarter off the stack and put it on, in this case, my skimmer waste collector. And I kept making trips, depleting this one by one until I had a whole pile of quarters sitting here on the waste collector. And I knew I'd put the right amount of salt in there. I just thought maybe that's a handy way for you to keep track of how much salt you've put in. You might have a different solution. I'd love to hear it. Um, I don't know if you just have one container that's marked to a certain spot or if you're using some kind of beads or you know, do you use a scale to weigh it? So be sure to tell me in the comments. It's just a tricky little method that I think might come in handy for some of you that lose track of what you're doing. My reef tank is doing quite well. I had to go ahead and add a, a gallon of magnesium to bring that number up. It was at 1200 PPM and now it's at 1300. I'd like to add another gallon and get it up to 1400 because that's kind of my preferred area. Uh, salinity is fine at 1.026. Uh, alkalinity had snuck up on me about two weeks ago and had spiked. It was really high, like 2021. I tested twice. I was shocked. But my reef was fine, and I thought, well, I better bring it down slowly. And so I made some changes on the calcium reactor. I changed the melting point within the reactor. And currently, the tank is at 14 dKH, and none of the corals took a hit. So that's good. I think if I'd brought it all the way down from 21 down to like 8 or 9, it would have caused some chaos and I didn't want to lose corals. So I did it a more gradual way and that seems to be working and I'll keep bringing it down. I'd like it to be around nine, maybe 10. So that's where that is. Um, the tank sitter will have fish food waiting in the fridge, actually in the freezer. And each day when he shows up, he'll put the food in the tank and make sure everything's running right. If he needs to, he can text me or send me pictures and video because we both have iPhones. And that way I'm in the loop. And I use the Apex controller to check on the tank and see where parameters are, especially temperature. And I also have my security system at the home that lets me view both tanks with cameras live, which is really convenient to make sure everyone's swimming the right way up. So at MACNA, I'm hoping to film some stuff to share with you. It'd be great if I could share little tiny clips with you each day, but I don't believe it's gonna happen. I think I'm gonna be too busy. And so you'll get some kind of a recap video when it's all over, sort of like I did with the bus tour. Um, that's really all I can commit to because I know myself and I know once I get around with all my friends and the evening rolls in, I'm going to want to relax and enjoy myself and not be sitting at a computer editing video. So I recommend that you tune in to various uh, social medias. You could check um, Reef Threads, which is a podcast, and they do a video or they do an audio track every single day about what's going on. Uh, different other websites will be also talking about MACNA. So you can just look up MACNA 2015 and see what's on the web. Thanks for viewing. I hope that you guys have a great weekend and I'll be back with you next week. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. I appreciate it.